Now, uh, after uh, applying the differential equation on the, um, uh, the element uh, and knowing the boundaries, uh, what happens on the boundaries, or if not known, we just gave them symbols, uh, let's apply uh, an interpolation technique. We will use uh, the values of the function u1 and u2 to uh, estimate and here put uh, several lines under the word estimate. We don't know what's going on inside the element, but our best guess is estimating what's there using the boundary values. So since we know the boundaries U1 and U2, uh, a simple polynomial uh, with a, lin a linear uh, uh, form uh, need to be uh, used. Uh, here we propose uh, B0 uh, plus B1x, Substituting with the values u1 at x1 and u2 at x2, we'll get two equations that can be solved in the coefficients b1 and b0. Uh, however, let's just rearrange the terms in order uh, to get them to look like uh, what we called uh, the Lagrange polynomial. Uh, in this Lagrange polynomial, uh, uh, you get uh, a linear term uh, or maybe higher order in different uh, in other problems. Uh, for this problem, it's a linear uh, uh, relation that's multiplied by the value of the function at one end, and another really linear relation that's multiplied by the function value on uh, the other end. Actually, uh, those two interpolation functions or those two lines will look uh, like this. Uh, when we add them up, we will get a relation that connects the two ends of the element. Uh, on one side, it's equal to u1, and on the other side, it's equal to u2. Uh, we can write this in a vector form. Uh, in this form, uh, psi1 represents the first uh, linear relation, and psi2 represents the second linear relation. In many finite element literature, you'll find this referred to as uh, the uh, shape functions, and usually they take uh, the letter N. Uh, however, uh, we used size here. Uh, it doesn't matter, it's just a, a, a presentation. Anyway, now we have uh, U of X as an estimated uh, function uh, using two linear relations and can be put in the uh, vector form uh, like this. Now. Uh, we're going to substitute back this approximate or this estimation of the value of the function into the differential equation. In that case, we will need to apply uh, weighted residual uh, methods. Uh, for uh, just to simplify the equation, uh, to simplify the problem, we will assume that the constants A and C uh, or the values of A and C are constant over the domain. They are not changing uh, with x. Uh, now, uh, applying the Galerkin uh, weighted residual method, we will get the integration over the domain uh, for this differential equation with the approximate solution multiplied by the psi uh, j. Uh, uh, here we, we call psi j the weighing function. Uh, uh, Galerkin method used the same interpolation function uh, as the weighing functions. Uh, for review of Galerkin uh, method and uh, the weighted residual methods in general, uh, refer to uh, the lecture on weighted residual methods uh, that's uh, posted on uh, our uh, website. Uh, if you are familiar with this, so this is not going to be uh, a, a big deal. Uh, now, uh, note that uh, when we uh, perform the integration, for example, for the first term, uh, psi j uh, times d2 psi i by dx2, we can uh, rewrite it uh, using uh, integration, uh, 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 we can rewrite it using integration by parts uh, to uh, look like this. Uh, in this form, uh, we reduce the second derivative into a first derivative, and the other one is transformed here, and we get as a result a boundary uh, term. Uh, this boundary term, remember that psi j is equal to 0 on one side and 1 on the other side. And we also have assumed that we may have 
the values of d psi by dx at different points. So uh, this is easily substituted. Uh, however, let's just ignore it for uh, for a few uh, slides and uh, see how it will come back to appear in our uh, equations. Anyway, we can also uh, write down the, the differentiation of both uh, interpolation functions or both uh, shape functions, uh, d psi by dx. So d psi 1 by dx will be minus 1 over h, where h is the uh, element length. Uh, x2 minus x1, uh, and d psi 2 by dx will be 1 over uh, h. Uh, for example, let's just uh, uh, perform this integration using psi equals 1, uh, sorry, i equals 1 and j equals 1. Performing this integration, we will substitute the first interpolation function in uh, both uh, uh, terms in all terms uh, and uh, this integration will result in a constant value multiplied by the value of u1 and another constant value multiplied by u1 as well and here you get the excitation term uh, uh, presented uh, multi sorry multiplied by uh, h e over 2. Uh, in this uh, relation, I assume that f also is constant to just simplify the integral and to get something uh, to, uh, to show you uh, as an illustration of uh, creating the element equation. Finally, repeating this for the four terms, we get uh, four uh, results. Uh, each will uh, putting them, the four of them in a matrix form uh, can, uh, will look like this. Uh, you can perform the other three integrals yourself. Uh, they are not hard. Uh, they are just uh, integration of a polynomial. So you'll get the uh, uh, matrix representation of the element equation uh, as uh, this. This term resulting from the second derivative d2u uh, by dx2 and this term uh, resulting from uh, the zero derivative or u um, uh, and all will be multiplied by u1 over u2. Now, <coughs> the, 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 what we got is that we transformed the differential equation into uh, a system of linear uh, equations. Uh, supposedly, this system of equations can be solved directly since uh, we have all constants here in this in these matrices multiplied by the unknown values uh, of u1 and u2, and the uh, the excitation term is also presented in a vector form. This is what we call uh, the element equation. Uh, it represents what happens in a subdomain of uh, the problem. Uh, let's see now, uh, after we have this, what can we do with them and uh, how can we uh, present the whole domain and finally how can we solve for the values of u1, u2, u3 and whatever the values of u's uh, in the rest of the domain.